Hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I just finished watching the Olympic Games. All oh, right, we won. Yeah. Six, yeah. Right. And then guys, I yeah. think we also won. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so they just wanted. Yeah. Yeah, I was just watching that. Awesome. Really? Yeah. I'm actually really happy that it ends before like the class starts. Oh, because you wanted to watch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I totally understand that. Um, but Evan just told me that he has to, um, I think he's working on like a, a deadline or something so that he mm -hmm. said that he couldn't join us today. So then um, today, probably we're just going to have the lesson and then send him the recording. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to talk about Ferrari fashion, which is something that's, I think, a little bit different than the topics that we have talked about so far. Mm -hmm. um but I don't know are you like someone who cares a lot about fashion or like mm -hmm. what is your I guess what is your perspective on like clothing fashion are you someone who's more like a minimalist like you don't have that mm -hmm. much clothes or like you have like a bunch of clothes that you don't really use or you really care about certain brands that you wear what type of person are you i don't think i really care about fashion oh you don't because <laughs> i yeah because i always like wear those really comfortable clothes uh -huh. and then sometimes just from when you join like a certain activities right. they will give you a t-shirt uh -huh. and then i always wear that kind of t-shirt okay so it's like you don't really care about what you wear as long as you have something that you wear Is that what you're saying yeah yeah i think i think yes is there certain brands that you like like you usually have a preference i don't think i have any friend that i really like uh -huh. most of the time it's like i really want to buy some clothes i would just go for a short a shop nearby mm -hmm. so that's how i like buy things clothing things okay yeah but i think the topic is really interesting okay so let's talk a little bit about it so um can you read the article here okay ferrari is one of the most famous names in the car industry a sports car are a symbol of luxury. It has a long history of success in mortal sports, especially in Formula One. The Italian company has not entered the business of fashion. Oh, the 74-year-old car maker launched its own line of clothing at its factory in Maranio, northern Italy. The company briefly halted production of its cars of two lead models walked down a temporary catwalk on its factory floor. Flurry hopes its new fashion line will allow the company to diversify. Good. Okay. So since I think your level, I would consider it quite advanced compared to other students. So I think here, whenever you're reading something, I mm -hmm. would expect a little bit more than just for you to read it, right? Um, I think it's it would be nicer to have more of an intonation of the way you're kind of think as you're kind of reading in the class so that um, you know how it is, right? Like Chinese is just very flat monotone, but then English mm -hmm. is like a whole flow. Something like where you're reading mm -hmm. something like, okay, so like you say last sentence, the company briefly halted production of its cars to let models walk down a temporary catwalk on its factory floor so like I kind of wish that you can sort of make it flow a little bit better so I know even mm -hmm. though it's like the first time you're reading it um I think for you it would be even faster compared to the other students that they're going to be like stopping and stopping and then like trying to try out this word um, because they're not sure of the pronunciation. So try to make it flow a little bit better. You can, it's okay, okay to, to be a little bit slower, but then you don't mm -hmm. want it to be fast and slow, fast and slow, right? 
Oh, yeah. Right. So then can you practice like maybe the last paragraph about the 74 year old? Okay. So the 70 years old car maker launches his own line of clothing at his factory in Marario, Northern Italy. The company briefly halted production of its cars to let models walk down a temporary catwalk on its factory floor. Ferrari hopes that its new fashion line will allow the company to diversify. Great. Okay. Northern Italy, not Italy, Italy. Oh, Italy. Yeah, so it's Italy. Okay. Great. Okay, so what do you think of Ferrari turning into a fashion brand? Do you find it strange? Why or why not? I think it's not. It's for me. It's pretty normal. Like because they are really already really famous. They want to try different, uh, try different things. And think I think that because it's a brand, and then I think. The fashion industry also really care about a brand. You have your own like story, you have your reputation. So I think it's pretty like, it has this logic behind that. If that they start some different industry like food or other thing like skincare, maybe I'll be more surprised because like you need to design a car and then for clothing, it's all about designing uh, things. So I think it makes sense for they try to starting like a fashion brand here. Okay, so who do you think would be their competitors? Um, I think they are, I think for the brand here, they are targeting like really high end brands, like maybe like Chanel or those type of really high quality not high quality just like really famous brand because they already have their like reputation in car so I think they will be wanted to targeting the best brand I think maybe Chanel or like really those kind of Vaseline or those kind of really high-end brand Okay, so you think of them as sort of like a luxury brand that you think they're going to work towards. Yeah. Why do, why do you think so? Why don't you think like they're going to be competitors with like Zara or H&M? Like oh. More, mm. I guess, fast fashion? What do you think? Because I think I don't really know more about their car history but I think their brand has a long like already established for a long time and I think they really focus on kind of their like story or something but like 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 fast fashion I don't think they will do that type of stuff because I think making a car take quite a long time and it really care about the quality so I think they will not change this type of mindset when they want to do something related to fashion. I think they will still put a lot of efforts on designing and take a long time to, to launch like a collection or something. Okay, I think that's quite reasonable. And I also think that they're probably gonna go into luxury fashion. Even though fast fashion might sound a little bit cool if you're mm -hmm. like a car brand. It's like you, you, your car is really fast, so you get everything like your oh. with mm -hmm. them. But the car, the same as their target audiences in cars, right? There's, it's going to be people who have more money. It's not just they just want a car, but they want a Ferrari, right? Mm. Okay, so here are some discussion questions. Why is Ferrari getting into the clothing industry of its own? It's, it's in, well known in the car industry. I think maybe uh, they want to try something new. Maybe they just want to try something new and they find that clothing industry must be a really uh, like challenging one. Is that also about creativity? I think maybe that's the reason 
or maybe simply some of the management group from the Ferrari are interested in fashion, so they want to just start it. Maybe some sometimes maybe they don't have like a maybe like a real reason. Maybe just on all of like their interests or maybe. They got a lot of inspiration from the fashion industry while they making a new design for the car because they need to keep knowing what the customer may like about the look. So I think it's about art. So they all related to art. So maybe that's why. Right. I think that's also why. But so you said they're they're interested, right? Not interesting. Right. Oh, in, yeah. in this right in this industry great okay so would you prefer to wear ferrari or toyota clothes mm. and why uh i think i'll wear toyota clothes really because my my family own a toyota so i think it's pretty nice sometimes i think that toyota car is like really cute i don't know it just look it just make me feel like uh because i see too often so i think it's kind of a part of my life if they do have a toyota clothes maybe i'll wear it mm -hmm. so i think it's a, just like sometimes so like something i'm really familiar with and right. then i think because that i'm not the type of person that who own a Ferrari car, so I don't need to pretend that I can own this type of thing. I just want to uh, show the real side of me, I think. Uh -huh. So I think maybe I would choose Toyota. You would choose Toyota? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what questions would you like to ask Ferrari's boss? for this their mm. new direction i guess of the company i would like to ask them maybe they want to combine because that for a car and for clothing they they will have like a launch party or something mm -hmm. so i like to ask whether they want to combine them together try to design a, a like a car for a certain pair of clothes or like uh just a new car and then they will try to design a compare i don't know how to describe it but just like a matching matching clothes for matching cars and then they want to combine them together and then and then maybe have a really creative party or like a fashion show that will be really interesting i like to ask whether they they have this idea or not Mm, okay to so have like kind of like a fashionable like is it like a walk show mm -hmm. okay interesting so for the next question is what do you think about luxury brands so do you have like a favorite mm. I think I enjoy watching their commercial, but I never really think about buying anything from the luxury brand. Really? Like, Why not? Yeah. Um, I think uh, because I don't consider myself, like, I think, um, how to um, because like I'm not really like rich, mm -hmm. but luxury brand kind of presenting like the rich uh, level mm -hmm. of the entire population. So I don't consider myself as this type of person. So I don't really need to own the items from luxury brand. Okay. If I'm really rich, maybe I will buy it, but I'm not okay. so. Okay, yeah. so I think it's because that it's the thinking about your, are you talking more of like, you think it's your social status? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. So you don't think that you really need to. 
yeah, I don't really need to wear a clothes or wear clothes or wear the item from Lusher brand too. Because I think that you wear something actually present what kind of person you are. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that the idea of luxury brands will actually match me as an individual. Mm -hmm. So I really never think about buying anything from the brand so far. I don't know in the future, but so oh. far I don't, yeah. Okay, makes sense. So what about, why do you think people love luxury brands so much? Like there's just people who are willing to save a bunch of money, kind of like buying like an iPhone, right? Because people oh. worship Apple or they want to be the pioneer and they want to buy mm -hmm the newest iPhone, they just want to buy the newest product because they just love the product so much. Why do you think that? I remember like really long time ago during my high school, we have a, I think it's an art class or some class. They, they one of the group presented about the whole history of the Coco, Coco Chanel, the founder, mm -hmm. like his, her story, I think. I don't really remember the detail, but I know it's, her story is really inspiring. So I think some people, they really want to buy uh, the certain thing from the brand because they love the founder. They love how they starting from zero and to build their own story and to make the brand so popular right now. So I think sometimes people value about their story, like how they start from small to make it really big and they love the creator much more than the real thing they buy. I think maybe that's the reason. Okay, that could be it. That could be one of the reasons. And, and yeah, do you know anyone like that? I think, I think yes. Uh, yeah, sometimes, Oh, sometimes I buy some books not because like I really like, I really understand what the book talking about because I haven't like read it, but I like the writer and her story. So I want to know about how the person think about different things. So I will buy the book. So maybe for a love children, maybe it will be the same, like same way of thinking. Maybe people like the person who created and want to know more about kind of owning a subject or make them feel like they're kind of closer to the the creator. I think that's just the same, like some, I know some fangirls, like they love like certain idol group or something. They don't really need a water bottle or they don't really like the design of the water bottle. They just like the logo and what is the logo about. So maybe they just want, they love the creator and love what the logo presents not the real they really need like a water bottle or something oh so it's so you think it's more of them loving the brand kind of like brand loyalty yeah a certain yeah. loyalty towards the brand and then they just want to purchase anything that the brand launches so we call these like drops like product drops mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Someone might, might say like, oh, tonight there's going to be a drop. So then the new products will be released. And then there'll be people oh, yeah. there waiting at maybe like, I don't know, 1 p.m., 12, midnight when it drops. And then people start like buying things. And then sometimes like if the brands are more popular and they're, they have limited um, amount, then it would just like quickly be like sold out. Have you mm -hmm. heard of this word, this term before? it's like I think oh, there's gonna be a drop oh I I think I heard about that word like I gonna drop a single from a singer or something uh-huh right yeah so that's like yeah. a term that like people use quite often okay. especially when they're talking about fashion because like I'm not a very oh. fashionable person it's just like 
um, my, my friend is. And then he's like, oh, oh, I got to be home because there's a drop. I'm like, what? Oh, uh-huh. And then he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I'm like, I'm just wondering if this is a term that you have heard before. Oh. Is this something that I think maybe you? Maybe it's in, in the article, like, I would know, oh, what is the drop about? But could maybe sometimes someone just say, oh, this is going to be a drop, and then I will not understand what is that. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So let's take a look at the role play here. So here for the brand, so I think that we can talk a little bit about which one you think is the most important one, like from your perspective. Hmm. Do you think it's usually talking about the brand? So, so I would think like, if you're talking about brand, okay, so I put Starbucks here because I think it's a very, it's a very popular brand, but I don't necessarily think their coffee is good. And I, oh, okay. I wouldn't go there for their coffee, but I would go there if I wanted to hang out for a day, maybe somewhere mm-hmm. quiet. And I think it's also the way that Starbucks has made itself because they want to be seen as a second home. They want mm-hmm. people to be very comfortable sitting in Starbucks or wanting to go there because it's more comfortable than staying at home. And I think they have done a really good job to portray that image. Is there mm-hmm. any other brands that you can think of? Because I honestly, I don't think their coffee is, is that good, right? I think like probably they mm-hmm. use like same coffee beans as in 7-Eleven because there's like basically from the same, from the same parent company, but is there any other examples you can think of? Hmm. So you're talking about Starbucks. So I start thinking about, is there any like food? Kind of like a brand or something? Uh, oh, I know there is one barbecues restaurant. Mm-hmm. Where it's is- called Uma. Uh-huh. That's in Taichung. And then, yeah, that's in Taichung. And then when maybe it's your birthday or you are a really famous person, they will make a really beautiful plating for you. So a everyone? lot of people. No, I think it's like maybe your birthday. Okay, it's only for your birthday. So they, they, they kind of, their food for me is not like really, really, really great, but they just their service is pretty nice so sometimes people go there maybe not just for the food they wanted that kind of service and feel like they are kind of really respected by the whole the all the all the staff there okay so mm-hmm. you think that people will go there for the birthdays it's kind of like everyone goes there for the birthdays I think yeah, some some people go there for the birthday service there. Okay, for the service. So you've been there before. Yeah, only one one time, once. Once, okay. So, do you understand why they they're so popular? Because like sometimes I would go to like popular places, but I don't really think that it, it should be that popular. I think I, I don't really understand why they are popular. Oh, you don't understand? They, yeah, I don't understand, but... There's not, they're not as good. Yeah, not, not like really good as I expected it will be. Okay, so the food is not that good. It's more of the service. Mm-hmm, yes. Okay, that's interesting. What about, can you think of a brand that you believe or you actually think it's good. So like, I don't think we really necessarily need to talk about clothing here, but do you think, can you think mm-hmm. of other brands that you think you understand why there's a brand loyalty or people are willing to buy this brand in like everything, like maybe all the products? 
I think maybe Apple. I kind of understand why、uh-huh. Apple is really popular because I if you like all the product you use are from Apple, you know like how convenient it will be, and then because I I kind of like、uh, my I used some different laptop before, and then after using different brand, not not Apple, like different brand laptop, I really understand why it was so good because that. It, the design is really convenient for the user. It's just like overall, it's really user friendly. So it, I think you like the brand. You like your the product you use actually help you to improve your uh product productive make you more productive. Right, your productivity. Yeah, yeah, productivity. Right, I think that's true. So I would actually say that. That is other another brand that I think because I used to use, like I I was not an Apple user until I started working and my company gave me an Apple lap like a a MacBook, and then、mm-hmm. once you start using a MacBook, it's really hard to go back to other laptops because you're just so familiar with the really easy to use user interface, and. If you have an iPhone, it's even more convenient to use the AirDrop. Like I think that just like、yeah. super convenient, so fast. And wh- whenever you have to like send files to like your friends and stuff, and they、mm-hmm. don't have an iPhone, it's because like, oh,、uh, okay, I'll send it to you in Line. But then like Line takes like forever if you want to like send、mm-hmm. a video, right? So yeah, that's definitely a plus for sure. Can you think of any brands? That are clothing brands. Are you able to support the fact that some people are willing to buy certain brands for clothing? The clothing, hmm. I think, uh. Because like some clothes from the luxury brand, I don't really understand like when you can wear it, like for what occasion that you will wear it. So for clothing, I think, ah,、uh, I still have so so much to learn about that. So if someone will like to share with me about like why they love the clothing out. Clothing brand, I'll maybe be really interesting in. But I still remember, like after the presentation I mentioned about about the Coco about Coco Chanel, I kind of understand why people like love Chanel so much. Okay, why? Yeah, so I think because they the all the evolution of the brand is like pretty inspiring. They keep like. Keep um improving themselves, not just uh being satisfied with their success. So I think that's why people like the brand. Okay, okay. I think that's also why. And another, so one of my friends, I don't know if are you familiar with Justin Bieber? Oh yeah, yeah. I, Do you I know yeah. that he has his own clothing clothing line. I think, I think that's I don't know. I think that's only for the concert, or they do have a brand.、Right. So、he has his own clothing brand. Um, I can、oh. just wait, let me quickly show you because maybe you'll understand the meaning behind this. Because this is something that is kind of new to me because I'm not familiar with this. But his brand, um, there's actually a story behind it. So then I think I understand why people. Are crazy about it because、mm-hmm. of I think it's more of the meaning that stands behind this. So this is his clothing、mm-hmm. brand it's called Drew, and their most popular logo, or I just like their logo is this smiley face. And oh, and show you like his the most classic version is just one with just like a very simple smiley face. Oh, and why I think it's so interesting is that there's actually a story behind it.、Uh, I 
are you familiar with him at all? Like, um, did you start listening to his like his baby song? You're probably like much younger. Yeah, I I listened to some of her album his album album? before. Uh-huh. Yeah. So some you- of his songs is on my playlist. Right. So it's it's his like his old songs, right? Do you remember like when he started to become very popular? Like the baby one? Uh, right, the baby song, right? Okay, so this is like uh-huh. what his logo or his t-shirt used to look like. So it would be like a smiley face. So uh-huh. he, because he was popular, like when he was so young that it mm-hmm. kind of, he kind of went off the wrong path. So he started to maybe hang out with the wrong people because like suddenly he had a lot of money spending a lot of money right you don't really care about money that much because you just have a lot of it and then for a time kind of like didn't really um having new songs was because like he was kind of like depressed just depressed for a while and then um so there's this time so it's kind of like he was very popular for like like there's like a spike and then Mm -hmm. he started like go downhill because mm-hmm. um, there were like bad news press about him. And then he was kind of like dealing with his own mental issues. And then he started to have this brand. And so it even has like his story behind it. Mm-hmm. That, so like, uh, this is just talking about how he thinks that um, there's a lot of people who may be going through bad times but we can all have like a smile on our face. So it's kind of like representing like, it's okay to be sad, but um, you have reasons to be happy or um, it's still gonna, the outcome or the end result is still gonna be good. Kind of like to stay positive and all these positivity stuff, how um, he, him trying to help more people to come out of or solve this kind of depression is really like an illness it's just like mm. mental illness right so like because he has been through all this so then like the people who want to support Spran support his idea or the values behind his own his whole brand mm. so I kind of understand oh right it's significant for some people because for them maybe they listen to his songs when they had a breakup they listen to his songs when they're having a bad time or hard time at work hard time in their life going through just hardships right so Mm -hmm. this just represents something I don't know like do you have like some songs like you'll listen to and then it's like you have a bad you're in like in bad mood where you just listen either to some sad songs or maybe some happy songs to try to make you feel better but there's some songs I just want to listen to. Is there a connection um, like you have? Or are you always? I think, I think I do have the song, but recently I'm really happy. So I just listen to happy songs. Right, right. So I think you're like, yeah. like for me, like if even if I don't feel happy, like in the morning, I would want to listen to some really upbeat songs or try mm-hmm. to like bring my mood up. You know what I'm saying? So like to yeah. listen to happy songs, like why would you listen to sad songs? But sometimes like when you're like in a sad mood, maybe listening to sad songs can bring up some memories. Maybe you just want to sit with this emotion. Mm. Yeah. So it's actually it's something that because of COVID, I started to meditate as well. So like, I don't know, are you oh. familiar with meditation? Like, you know, they always tell you to like, you're supposed to sit with your emotions. So mm-hmm. feel what you're feeling. It's okay because emotions flow and it doesn't matter if they're good or bad. Even if they're bad, it's okay that they're there. You can recognize it, but you don't really have to have a reaction to it. So it's more mm-hmm. of you being mentally strong and be like, oh, I'm sad right now, but it's okay that I'm sad, but I'm sad. I'm having these feelings that are these sad feelings. But, okay, I'm sad. Maybe I want to know why. Why do I have these feelings, right? So it's more like a self-reflection 
and you you're able to recognize yourself that mm-hmm. and to it's more also like self acceptance right you're okay with mm-hmm. how you are right now and i think a lot of times i'm not i'm not sure like are you okay with you being sad or do you think like sadness or crying do you feel that is more of a negative thing that you think oh it's not okay to do or are you just someone who just freely expresses your emotions Mm. I think uh, for me I think my experience kind of made me learn about how to like uh, deal with my own emotion because I do have, I think I do have some mental health issues. So I do seek for professional help and I do like uh, therapy and some consult, consulting before. Consulting. So I think, Consultation? Yeah, yeah. So I think that really helped. And so I know like why I will feel that way and I can think about the reason so right now I think I kind of in a really stable stage with my my relationship with my emotion oh that's so I do learn wow. a lot. I think that's yeah. thing how you actually seek help because I think that's like is this whole like cycle I think it's like or, or the whole stage I think that's like in a further stage like usually people are always struggling with the self-acceptance and then mm-hmm. once you recognize that you are mentally ill, then you will seek help. So it's kind of like when you're feeling sick, right? Then you'll go to the doctor. But first, you're going to feel sick. But a lot of people, they don't feel sick or they oh. don't think this is an illness. So uh-huh. first, I think the self-recognition is the hardest part. And it's amazing how uh-huh. you already self recognize and you're opened up or you recognize it so that you go and seek for help and it's professional help. Because I think even seeking it for friends is going to be hard for people, family members and friends to say that, hey, I need help, right? Or, hey, mm-hmm. I want to talk about this. I think it's really hard, but for you to go a step further and to get it solved, to get it um like wanting to fix this is amazing. Wow. And then to recover and then be able to say that you have had this before. You know, that's like a yeah. really, really long process mm-hmm. that it shows that you have, you are mentally strong now because you're much stronger to recognize this and then be able to even say it or share it. Mm. Okay. So, I don't yeah. know, do you recognize that? Because like for some people, they're just like, oh, right. Like, so what, right? But then it's it's a big deal, I think. I think when I, actually, I don't really know I need the help, but I, I'm receiving the help. And then during the process, I kind of learn about what the illness is really about. Mm-hmm. So I, can't, I think my situation is a little bit different because uh-huh. it's really complicated I just right. yeah. and then yeah and then I did realize that sharing the experience every time made me feel much more stronger because it made me think that I actually overcome it so I think right. yeah so I yeah, take really a long cool. time that's, but that's awesome yeah it's kind of like you know when you have a really hard breakup like I had a really hard breakup and I think that every time I try to talk about it or say out loud, I was recovering from the the hardship of it. Like you get better and easier and more comfortable and less emotional. And then when you're able to just say it out and have no emotions about it and just be like, kind of like you telling someone else's story, then you know that Mm -hmm. you're okay. You know, like Mm -hmm. you've moved on and now you're able to even talk about it yeah yeah that's pretty cool wow then that's good good for you good for you then yeah amazing thank you um right we're, we're a little bit off topic here but let's try, try to 
get back to the price and the quality. So of brand price and quality, which one do you think is the most important um, thing about clothing? I think it's different. If, if, if I go like the real shop, I will focus on quality. But if I just do online shopping, maybe I will think about the brand. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Why do you say that? Because like, uh, if I want to do online shopping, maybe I will just watch videos online, uh, maybe some YouTube videos, and then they will talk about the brand and then they will build, kind of build their reputation and sharing about the story. So I will like kind of really want to try out the brand without really touching it and feel the quality. So that's for online shopping. But if I really visit a clothing store, I would just focus on the quality, I think, because I can really try it on and then see whether it looks good on me or not. Okay, so see if it looks good on you, okay. Um, do you think that price and quality sometimes is a conflict with each other? Like if you want lower price, then you're not gonna have very good quality. Or if you want really good quality, usually the price is a lot higher. What do you think about that? Mm. I think sometimes it's true. I think like within the in, in the same brand, it's true. Like the higher price item will be like higher quality. But sometimes you can find a different brand, but the price is lower but has a really good quality. So maybe sometimes it's because of your can you give some luck. examples like is there like uh, a specific time when you found something that's a lot cheaper or what? Because like I do remember sometimes I buy just randomly buy some really cheap clothing things and then it turned out the quality is really nice. And then you're talking about clothing, right? Yeah. Yeah, clothing. I think, yes, I do have some experience. Like, I buy a really expensive item and then it turned out the quality is not really good. So I think maybe sometimes when when the one, some of the brand, they don't really focus on like, like marketing or doing commercial thing, maybe they will put much more efforts on improving their quality. So maybe sometimes price and quality doesn't need to be like higher price brings higher quality. So maybe sometimes it depends on different things okay. in the brand. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do you think that people who support certain brands, it's necessarily that the brand has to have a very high quality? Or why do you think they usually support it? Do you also think it's because of the values? Mm. I think sometimes people want to buy it because just they want to own it, not really want to wear it. So maybe some people will not really focus on quality. So they don't really think about the price that much. They will just buy it. Buy it. Right. Yeah. And then sometimes I also think like maybe like certain brands, like if they have limited edition, I also think that's what causes people to line up for it. Like I've seen like in Taipei, like, especially near, like, the Dongchi area, there's a lot of times mm -hmm. where people are lining up. And I think it's for, like, certain, like, fashion brands where they have new products that are out and released. And maybe there's only limited editions for certain ones, right? So mm -hmm. people will be lining up for that. Do you understand that? Like, I don't really understand either queuing up for clothing or for food like but which one do you think mm -hmm. that you would you would be doing mm. i think if like you really care of like if you if someone really loves like sneakers like limited edition will make them crazy 
you will just want to buy a new things there. But for me, I think if I do have like the money and then I think I'm kind of really into buying cameras. So if they do have limited edition camera, maybe I really want one. Camera. Oh, so you're yeah. a photographer. No, I, I think I'm just like really like it, but I haven't really started buying camera because camera is like really expensive for, for me. Right. So far. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you're saying that you would buy cameras? Is it just for fun or what? Yeah. Sometimes if they I do like a brand, maybe I will buy their camera. Mm. Okay. So is there like a certain brand like Sony or is it like more of like what type of cameras are you talking about? Oh, I do have a Sony camera and I think it's really the price is not really expensive and the quality is really nice. So that one is a, a really good one. But if I do mm -hmm. want to collect some of the camera, I'm thinking about, I want really want to have a Leica camera in my life because their price is really high, but their quality is actually really nice. They have their own, the color is just different. So I think I will, buy that camera I think if I do uh afford that oh can afford the camera but camera yeah. you're talking about like just like not like Lomo or like those type of like oh. camera you're talking about like ones with like the long lens um some I don't think sometimes the lens is not really long I think because like Recently, if the lens are just short and the, the quality was still nice. And then I do really want to try to learning about using film camera. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I heard like the lens are really expensive too, right? Yes. Yeah, I think one is just like either like more than 10,000 or something. If it's yes. a really good quality one. Mm -hmm. So do you already have your own camera? Sorry? Do you have your own camera that you're using right now? Yeah, I do have my own camera. But I, I don't think I use that often because like recently the, the phone camera is really nice. So you don't really need, to, really need to bring a camera. Yeah, especially when I think it's like super heavy. Like, I remember mm -hmm. my friend would carry it. And then, like, if we go hiking and stuff, you want to bring his camera. Mm -hmm. But it's, like, so heavy. I'm just like, wow. Mm -hmm. You're willing to carry that up and hike. That's, like, so heavy. And then, yeah. at the top, like, you probably, like, regret it because, like, you still have to come down. Mm -hmm. But, like, <laughs> but I understand. Like, if you're crazy about, like, photography and stuff, you just want to get a good shot and just bring your camera along. It's just, like, you have to do that, so. Okay, that'd be cool. If next time um, when we have class, you can share about some of your your photography. That'd be really cool. Okay. Yeah, I hope I can improve that. <laughs> okay, great. Um, so then um, we're not going to be having class in August, right? So then let us mm -hmm. know uh, when you are free to have class, maybe in September, and then we'll continue the group lesson. Okay. Thank you so much.